Let's talk about business intelligence. So business intelligence, aka BI, isn't every big and good company. But what does it do exactly and why? Every company has different departments like sales, controlling, operations, and so on and so on. Most of the departments use data to improve and optimize their workflow. Known tools are, for example, Salesforce and SAP. And as the company is still small, there's no need for a separate BI department as it is very easy to still maintain the overview. But as the company grows, it gets more and more complex. More people, more data, more reports, more chances to get lost. This is where BI comes into play. The main focus is all of the company's data. BI backend gathers all of the data and stores it into a storage space like a data warehouse and BI frontend clarifies with the business user what exactly he needs to see and how he wants it presented. Let's go through an example. A sales manager creates his own reports. As the company grows, he gets more and more tasks. As he was hired to do sales things and not to search for data and master BI tools all day, the tasks go over to BI. BI backend gathers all the information from Salesforce and Excel flat files, and BI frontend discusses with the sales manager what exactly he needs and then provides him the data with a BI tool, for example, Tableau. Great. So what are the benefits of doing this? First, some employees are not allowed to see sensitive data, like costs or price lists. That's because unloyal employees might sell the data for a competitor or they might leave the company and then use the company's information against itself. Of course, everybody from BI could of course do the same, but now we are talking about a couple handful of people in the BI team that could be potential defectors and traitors compared to a couple thousand. Second, by giving over the task of collecting data and creating reports to somebody with BI knowledge, the sales manager can fully focus on his task, which results in maximum efficiency for both departments. Third, if somebody new joins the company or some department wants to see information from another department, it would be very hard with our BI team to find a person in charge for all of that, resulting in a maximum waste of time if you don't have a BI team. Fourth, administration. With more and more data and reports, a lot of questions arise. Who can access the data? Who can see which data? Who can make my life easier by simplifying the reports and optimizing as much as possible? Where to store the reports and passwords? And who can explain to me the specific jargon of each company? Very simple, but important and time-consuming tasks. Okay, that's it. Now you should have a good overview of what BI is and what it does. If not, you are very special. If you have something to add? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.